you're not going to get left up the river without no creek. That doesn't make sense. Kind of suck if you parked somewhere, left your bike there, came back, and someone had pinched it. It's a pretty, it's a pretty brazen thing to do, stealing a bike. Because you look very, ob you look very obvious that it's not your bike. You're either trying to jam a screwdriver into the ignition, or you're trying to pick it up on something. I just don't know how you get around to doing it. Why you try it? But yeah, it would s it would suck if someone you came back and someone had pinched your bike. <clears throat> sort of seen some seen like videos. I saw a video the other day actually on a dude. Might have been a security camera footage or something like that. This van pulled up, grabbed the bike. Two dudes got out. Both kind of like heaved it together. I mean, it's a, it was a sport bike, so I don't know how much they weigh. Maybe 200 kgs. Yeah, like heaved it in and through the passenger slider door on the back side of the van. And away they went. I mean, it must have taken them all of 20 seconds. If people really want to steal your bike, they will pinch it. I guess that's why you have insurance. Someone steals your bike, at least you've got something there to cover it, and so get insurance, kids. It will pay off in the long run, that's for sure. But I mean, also, on that same kind of observation of things happening with bikes, etc., I was hanging out with a friend a couple of weeks ago, getting some food, as we're all leaving, there's a guy, saw some three dudes standing around a bike. And with the, oh yes, yeah, there's just three dudes having a chat, looking at someone's bike. I'm just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, cause the day seems kinda odd. But yeah, so, saw these, these dudes standing around this bike. Looked like they were just having a chat. And then I realized that, Two of the dudes, one of the dudes was on the phone, the other guy was trying to talk to this biker. It was, then it kind of came clear that obviously this, that this guy on the bike that was trying to, that was trying to leave was obviously drunk. And then he's got these two guys, they look like they live next door, were trying to stop this guy from riding off. And in the end, the guy, stood in front of him, like clearly stood in front of him. Hello? Go bro. Timon. You're currently part of a vlog, because I am currently riding my bike down Dominion Road. <laughs> so, after the phone call, first phone call on my Senna while I've been riding, that's kind of awesome. But yeah, like, so this guy stands and stands in front of the bike while the guy's trying to ride off trying to stop him from going anywhere and but the guy on the bike doesn't care and then he's just like I'm out like this is me I'm leaving you can't stop me and takes off and it's the stupidest thing why if you're gonna have a drink you're gonna go out and you're gonna have more than just like a beer why would you go out there and why would you like ride your bike? Seriously, don't ro drink and ride. I mean, don't drink and drive in general. I mean, seriously. I mean, drinking and driving is bad. And drinking and riding. I mean, your balance is just all shot as it is. Walking, don't like try and ride a bike. It's just muppet. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!